we're going to tell you who is the right person for the keto diet and who is the wrong person for the keto diet and what to watch for. Again, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin and let's get started. So you guys are watching YouTube videos and everybody talks about keto. Some people put a doctor in front of their name not because they're a real MD, but just they just want to throw out the you know the, the the titles to look more important. Now, guys, remember, not everything you watch is true. Things those general statements you may actually harm yourself quite significantly. Now, I have been getting uh, some hostile comments because people think that I do not support keto. That's not true. I support keto for the right patient. Now, some people say, oh, keto has to be for everybody. Well, that's not true, and we are going to talk today why the keto is not the right diet for everyone and who is the right person for the keto diet. Now, let's briefly discuss about the definition of a ketogenic diet. It is simple. Everybody talks about this. Again, to talk about keto, you don't have to be a doctor. You can be a dietitian. You can be anything. You, you, you don't have to be, you, you can be a car mechanic and talk about keto diet. It's not a rocket science, but who is a good keto patient is where a doctor comes in. I do not recommend anyone to jump into keto diet and uh, without talking to a doctor. That, that can have severe consequences that you don't want to have. It's like, you know, let me give you an example about it from a relationship standpoint. You may see a hot girl or a hot boy. You may say, oh my God, this is going to be my, the love of my life. And you just jump into it. You do everything. You spend all your money. You, you, you spend all your time for that person without really understanding what they're all about, without thinking about the consequences of the relationship, without looking at all the negative aspects of this person. So when you're in love, everything is blind. So if your goal is to just lose weight and get your diabetes under control, your sugars under control, and you do not look at all the other consequences of a diet, then you are going to have problems with it. So it's better to understand what it is and what it's not, and if you are a good candidate for that. Now, of course, I'm going to tell you a lot more detail than you typically see in a keto video from a medical standpoint, but I still do not want you to go ahead and start keto on your own because I don't want you to get into trouble. Again, you don't want to treat yourself. You don't want to doctor yourself. You want to make sure you talk to a doctor. It doesn't have to be us. You can just talk to your primary care doctor or an endocrinologist or a diabetes doctor who has understanding of a keto diet. So how was keto diet found? Actually, initial studies came around for the childhood epilepsy. They found that the, the kids who were not eating a lot of carbs had less epilepsy and did the studies, and they found that the ketogenic diet actually reduces the seizures in, in kids. Uh, also, there has been some studies, short-term studies, that it actually works for diabetic patients, but how long it works and which diabetic patient is the candidate for the keto diet is the question. 